not going to waste much time speaking because I've been waiting all weekend to get to play with these uh, wonderful musicians. But uh, let me say that the first time I came here was 49 years ago. I uh, lived in Los Angeles and uh, discovered one of my father's old records that had picks on it, and that was it. That was in 1953. So um, I spent the next two years fixing up an old car, 46 Ford, and I drove it here on my first Bix pilgrimage in 1956. Another long story, I went out to the cemetery and the, the man there that uh, uh, said he would drive me to where the Beiderbecke uh, family plot was because it wasn't easy to find and for me to just follow him in the car, which I did and I got there and I took out my at that time, $5 King Cornet, and I took a picture of it by the, by the marker. And, and uh, he said to me, he said, you're the youngest person that I've seen come around here that's interested in Bix. And I said, well, might be. My father was a player, and he had met Bix, et cetera, et cetera. The man gives me his calling card, and it says, C.B. Beiderbeck, <laughs> Oakdale, Cemetery, Oakdale Cemetery. He was the manager there not doing much of anything else, and we went back to his office and spent the rest of the afternoon at least four hours just, just yakking about things. Anyway, that was my first trip here. I got to play here with a couple of bands in the 70s, and uh, I met uh, the mighty Franz Jostrom a number of years ago in Stockholm. We, we played and recorded there, and um, uh, he and I were at the Escona uh, Switzerland Jazz Festival in 03, which was a magnificent tribute to the 100th anniversary of Bix. And at that time, I found out that Franz, who had been a Bixophile since he was a boy, had never been to Davenport, and I thought, I wonder how I could get him here. Well, the closest thing I was able to do was get him on the band that I put together for the 100th Bix cruise, a dream band, and got everybody I wanted including Franz, and so when I found out he was coming here this year with this wonderful English band, my wife and I said, let's uh, take a canoe and paddle up river. And, and <laughs> so, anyway, happy to be here, and I'll play one more tune with these guys, and, uh, and join you civilians out there. This is a tune I think should sound good with, with this band and in this kind of style that we like to play. Certainly Bix would have played this, and uh, it's called... Uh, Roses of Picardy. I have a question. You have a question? This is going to be in B flat, yeah. and I'll try not to make too many mistakes. Do you need that up that high so we can see you play? Uh -huh. <laughs> I used to be taller. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you this, uh, your the sound guys yes. would be very upset about this, but. Uh, <laughs> no, it isn't that. It's this. The music stand. The music stand. Yeah. Oh, well, I might yes, be reading. How do you like me now?
I would like to thank uh, Mike Burham for giving me the keys to the band for these last couple of minutes. Thanks so much. Mr. Tom Fletcher, ladies and gentlemen.